Welcome back, Stouts23 here, back again with some knife therapy, and uh, I was sent these uh, two knives from Best Tech, the Swordfish and the Lion, and uh, I was sent them to thoroughly test them, because I had an issue with uh, a Swordfish that I got a while back, and they seem to have got a bad batch of steel. Um, I will tell you, I sharpened this up once, and I had a little small chip right there. I was able to get it out with the work sharp uh, field sharpener and I dulled it back out so I put it back on my wicked edge started at a 400 grit and I do have some chips along the edge they're not terrible you can see they'll catch with uh, paper right there and but I mean the knife's still sharp and it'll still get the work done so we'll, let's see we're gonna cut up some cardboard and a few other things and this is basically, whenever I say I'm testing a knife, I'm showing y'all how I do the testing. That's all I'm doing. I'm not going to do it in a short, shortened form, though. As you can see, it's still sharp. Those little bitty chips aren't going to hurt at all <coughs> doing work. And that's that. I find that that's the nature of the beast with D2 a lot. It can be brittle, can be chippy. And uh, it seems that they must have gotten a bad batch a bad sheet of D2 because um, I had a kendo that had some issues and this is the second swordfish and this one isn't that you know I don't find it I don't call it a fail it's still performing really good as you can see super sharp blasting through this cardboard um, Right now, also, testing ergonomics, I, I, I tend to squeeze on the uh, handle a lot so I can see how it feels in hand. I got a medium-sized glove, and very comfortable, very, very comfortable. Trying to cut up small pieces, so I don't have to cut up as many boxes. But I will tell you as well, this is probably the third time I've tested this knife. This knife has been through a good bit of uh, testing so far. My first set of footage uh, didn't turn out that well. So I have my boy, Copper Dice, behind the camera. Say hey, Copper Dice. Hey. Uh, you know, I knew I, I needed to, my manager to uh, video this, so he's gonna make sure there's no mistakes. I knew if I got an outside party Doing my videos, the way it come out right, huh? Gotta get the man himself, Copper Dice. All right, Copper Dice, tell me when, you, when you're ready for me to swap on to some other material. Uh, you can swap on. How far are we into it so far? About three minutes. Okay, let me, let me finish this one up. I like to get the blade nice and hot. That's a solid box right there. Yeah, and... I'm trying to do it fast because the faster you do it, the hotter the blade gets and that tends to, it'll tend to chip the edge. Let's see how the uh, cutting is after that. Still the same, it has a few little small chips, but as you can see, it flies through there. We're gonna cut some, just some regular nylon rope. Kind of thick though. Cuts it fine. Very, very nice performance here. Uh, this I like the the way that this blades ground it's not uh, ground super super thin uh, they, they left enough meat behind the edge so you can uh, use it for a nice work knife as well um, got some some seat belt material it's a little bit thicker than seat belt let's see how it does through this if I can grab it and it went through no problem let's try cutting it like this Woo, just blazing through there. There you go. Nice and sharp. Like to see that. Got a nice uh, thick piece of saddle, saddle leather. Let's see how it cuts this. Woo, yeah. Like a razor blade, if I could hold on to it. Let's see if we can get some detail work in there. Very nice. Kind of like an X-Acto knife. Um, this is that plastic banding that you get on boxes and stuff. Very easy, no problem. If I can hold this, we'll get two of them in there. 
pop through there, no issues whatsoever. Let's see, got some zip ties. We'll pass it through a zip tie. And this is basically just a simulated, a, a small, a small uh, test of how I actually test the knives, but this is how I do all of them. And I usually use a two by four, but also I use this. And you know, this is not a woods knife whatsoever, but I, I find whenever you're cutting through it, when you're shaving into wood and you're bearing down, putting a lot of pressure, you can really uh, get the a sense for the ergos because you're, you're squeezing the knife really hard and the ergos are just fine with this one, especially in the hammer grip. And if you needed to, you could make some, some shavings too. Uh, getting some, some minor, minor hot spot right there, but nothing major. Like I said, this is not gonna be the knife that you're gonna first choice out in the woods, but hey, it's definitely doing the job. There you go. Let's see how, it, how the edge is holding up. Still good. And we'll cut up a little bit. Where, where are we at right now, Chopper Dice? Yeah, it's 615. 615, okay. We'll cut up a little bit more cardboard. Let me know when we get to 10. We'll shut it down. Or after I finish half these. It's definitely screaming sharp still. Um, it looks like it's going through it better now. Yeah. Better at the I, you know, and that that's usually the case. Of, I find that uh, a lot of times, if you might have like a slight burr or something on the knife, cutting through cardboard, basically it's like stropping as you're passing through it, and it'll knock that burr off. Or you know, if you have a little bit of rough edge, and I've definitely seen you know knives come out of cardboard sometimes feeling or looking sharper. Uh, this one's still grazing through the cardboard like, like it's not even there. And the cool thing about this is you have such a long blade. I think it's uh, right at almost a four inch blade. So you got tons of cutting edge to doll out. You know, right now I'm kind of using that back portion, but I can, I can scoot up and get just the front portion. Just a lot easier to hit this back edge. Where are we at right now? 7.30. Yeah, we'll cut up one more and we'll check the edge and we'll probably call it good. Like I said, this, is, this isn't the first test I've done on this one, but I did, I did touch it up on my Spotico Sharp Maker just a, not long ago. So um, I want, you know, to have an initial sharp edge again, because I was able to dull it down after doing a lot of cutting before. And then real quick, got some rubber. Um, it's like uh, some weather strip. Easy. I love, I love this nice precise tip. You can definitely put it on there and pull. And you got that. Let me look. Can you see that? It's nice and thick. Mm -hmm. This stuff. Let's see how it passes through here. If a knife is super thick with rubber like this, yeah, y'all see my my dog trying to make an appearance. He's gonna clean up for me. It, it, it zips through that with no problem. That's pretty nice and thick right there. Uh, so that's your Best Tech Swordfish model BG03A. Um, like I said, ooh, the blade's nice and warm. Uh, it has some, I don't know, I probably won't better show it, but there's a few minor chips in the blade. One right there. Nothing crazy. Uh, and nothing that is, you know, gonna deem this knife unusable. Um, still razor sharp. Let's see after that cutting. Let's see if we have any. Now, it's, you, you're hearing it catch on that the two uh, which calls, but other than that, this knife is still nice and sharp. So there you go, guys and girls. Hope everybody enjoyed that. If you like these type of videos, let me know, and I'll make my boy copper dice shoot some other ones. Hope everybody's having a great day. Hey, you gotta put it down and put it on the thing. Huh? Put it down. Hope everybody's having an absolute wonderful day. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.